This instructional video is how to get good flow out of your Kohler. This is a true Kohler. I believe it's called the Max Tor uh, or the Max Ton. I'll put the item number in the link. Obviously, it's dirty. That has nothing to do with the function. Issue with these sinks, we have three of them in our house. Less than two years old. And this is the water flow. To some of you, you may say, great. I say, pain in the butt. This is my wife's. Try and wash your hands with that. Okay. And if there's any other things on in the house, pressure is even worse. So I'm going to take you over to the one that has been fixed. But I will show you some of the things that I've done that was recommended by Kohler first. They suggested to remove this splash screen. Or there's another name for it, I forget what they call it. But anyway, you take a needle nose pliers, you reach it up in there between the fins, you grab it and you yank down. And you usually break a couple of the fins because it's not designed for any needle nose pliers that anybody has. Once you get it out, there's a couple of uh, mesh screens in there that are designed to filter out crap. House is less than two years old. I have very hard water here in Bradenton, Florida. It was not full of crap. There was a little bit of crap in there, but it wasn't bad. I took it out, uh, cleaned them out, took all, the, took all the pieces out. Even when I took them all out, I still had terrible water flow. For a $150 water fixture that came with the house, these should be functioning much better. There is a screw on the back side that does nothing. Kohler specifically states, don't take it out. I'm not sure what it does. I don't really care. I just know it didn't help me at all. So, again, this is what you see. Bathroom sink number one. Bathroom sink number two. Would you be happy with that? If you would, okay. I'm not a tree hugger. I don't. So, I'll walk through and show you the other bathroom when it fixed. Before I get to that part, after emails and back and forth with Kohler, they were going to send me new screens as if that was going to fix things, that little splash screen or stream screen. I emailed back and told them that I took those out and that was going to be of no benefit. And they replied, we'll send you some new ones. I said, no. So I called them, talked to them on the phone, and they decided, okay, well, you have three sinks. We're going to send you three new hot valves and three new cold valves. I understand they may be thinking that the low flow is due to the hard water of the area. Okay, valid concern. I appreciate they sent them out. They sent them out FedEx. I talked to him on Thursday of last week. It's Thursday, so it's been seven days. Not bad, turn around. He sent me three hot, three cold. Let's go in the bathroom and see how we got it apart to get to these. So, this is bathroom number two. If you will notice, I oopsed. Stupid plumbing error. I did not turn the water off first. Water's off, water's off. Obviously what I mean by that is I didn't turn these off prior to working on the sink. So don't be a dumb dumb like I did. I got water on my ceiling up there and the green tape is because I'm painting in here. Anyway, after some cleanup. So to get things apart, to even get to the valves that are in here that they wanted me to replace, you have to use an Allen wrench, which is a 1 8 SAE. And the Allen wrench is in the, the Allen key or the screw is in the back. It's not very large. It's a pain to get to. It's covered by this little rubber plug, which I just used a knife. I poked it in pried it right out, it came right out. So this little plug is just there to keep from water collecting and crap collecting in the screw hole. So after you get that out, it's a pain because this is your angle. Looks right, but it's not easy to get in and out. It took a while. Anyway, so I got it out. Magnet here to collect my parts so I don't lose them. 
After that, you jiggle back and forth, back and forth. Oh, it comes off. These are the valves. You may already know this if you take apart sinks all the time. I don't. I bought a new house. I shouldn't have this problem, but do it yourself. -er. So, looked at the bottom here. I thought, okay, well, let me take my screwdriver, take off these screws. All that does is removes the faucet piece. It comes loose. There's a hose inside of there. Everything seemed fine. So I put these two screws back in, reaffixed the whole hose piece on, uh, faucet piece on. Then I took my screwdriver, put it in there, took out the screw here. Actually, it was on this side. And all that it did was just loosen up the handle. I, I, it probably does something else, but it didn't, it didn't find the um, piece that I needed. Well, then I realized the piece that I actually need is that. And so this was the part. So I took this to compare and look, I'm like, oh, okay, that's where it is. Again, making sure your water's off, <laughs> which I did not. You then take a one half and you undo these. And I'm getting to the point here. When I did this and I loosened it up, this then freed up this part. However, because I was a dummy, and I did not have the water off, as soon as I pulled just a little bit, that opened up the water flow. Again, not a plumber, do it yourself -er. Water went spraying up on the ceiling, crazy pressure, trying to push this thing down. I finally got it forced down with my screwdriver. Water stopped flowing all over the ceiling. I realized, okay, water comes out here. I screwed this back on. So if you want to replace these, that's how to do that. You don't need to for this particular reason or for this particular issue. My issue again is terrible water flow. If you live in a tree hugger state, sorry if you don't like me using that term, sorry if it's offensive. If you live in a tree hugger state where you have to conserve water on all of your things, that's fine. This is my house. I pay the water bill. This little monster was in rubber side down in there. That's what's referred to as, I believe it's referred to as a flow restrictor. I've taken them out of, in most of houses that I've ever lived in, I take them out of the shower nozzle and all of a sudden I have amazing water pressure. So with this piece out, mind you, it came out when I stupidly left the water on, took one of these off, it was this one particularly, let the water out, it launched like a fountain. So don't do it that way. However, you can take all this off like I did, then turn the water pressure on just a little bit and turn one of these knobs and that'll get water to flow out here. Put a towel over it so you don't soak your ceiling. Anyway, turn the water on a tiny bit. That will pop this up because it's down in there pretty well. Fast forward, here we are. It's off. I'm just going to carefully now put this back on and mind you, those black plastic um, bolts are back in. So we're going to do hot water. All pressure on hot water. Holding this down. Hopefully I can do this. Cold water, you can see. Nothing. Hot water. Do we have pressure? What is that? Oh my goodness. I can wash my hands. Is that water pressure? Thanks, Kohler. You can keep your plastic pink crap I'm going to use this instead, the way that it is, the way that it's intended to wash your hands. Now, I won't have water building up here because the water's coming out here. So, I have to put it back together, meaning putting this screw back in, putting this plug back in, and I will save this little horrible piece of crap and these extra parts, which they thankfully sent me, in a Ziploc baggie underneath the sink. If somebody should move in here later, or if I should decide I want to start hugging trees, conserving water, I'm all for conservation, but not at the sake of my frustration. So, sorry if you don't like my conservation mindset, but I'm taking this little booger out and I'm gonna wash my hands because it's my house. Hope you like this. Leave your comments below. 
their nasty comments. Oh well, thanks.